Hi everyone, this week's lesson we're going to be looking at inheritance and DNA. In last week's lesson we looked at inherited characteristics and today we're going to study those in more detail. You can inherit characteristics from your parents through strands of genetic material contained in the nucleus called DNA. These are organised into chromosomes. DNA has got three main features. It's made up of two strands and four chemicals called DNA bases which we're going to come on to look at in a second. DNA is twisted into the shape of a double helix. There are four DNA bases that make up DNA. Adenine and thymine, cytosine and guanine. These each pair together to form base pairs. Adenine pairs with thymine and cytosine pairs with guanine. They make up one of the single strands in a triplet cord, which then bonds with the second strand to form the double helix structure. In this part of the video, we're going to model the structure of DNA using a straw to represent the phosphate cell or backbone and midget gems to represent each of the DNA bases. Like we've already said, there's four DNA bases and each of them will pair to another one. Cytosine is going to pair with guanine. Thymine is going to pair with adenine. Adenine is going to pair with thymine. Guanine is going to pair with cytosine. Thymine again is going to pair with adenine and cytosine is going to pair with guanine. These move together and they bond. I'm going to join with the phosphate sugar backbone, phosphate sugar backbone to form a DNA strand. Each of these gametes contains a gene for a particular characteristic. In this case, we're going to talk about eye colour. If the mother has blue eyes, she's going to carry two alleles. It's going to be a lowercase b and a lowercase b. This means they've got blue eyes and they're recessive because they're lowercase. On the other hand, the father might have brown eyes, so he's going to have different alleles. We're going to represent these using a capital B. How do we determine how this will appear in the offspring? We use what they call a Punnett square. This is a really simple inheritance diagram to show which characteristics are passed down. All we need to do is take our genes from each. So we're going to take the little, the recessive alleles, which are the two lowercase b's from the mother, and the dominant alleles, which are the two uppercase b's from the father. We're going to use these tables and put the values together. So it's going to be capital B, lowercase b, capital B, lowercase b, capital B, lowercase b, and capital B, lowercase b. In this example, each one of the offspring have a capital B. That means they've got the dominant allele for a characteristic. So in this case, all of the, organ all of the offsprings are going to have brown eyes. In today's video, we've looked at DNA and inheritance. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great week.